Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana State Police Roadshow. I'm your host, Sergeant John Perrine, the Public Information Officer for the Indiana State Police Indianapolis District. The Roadshow is brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance and Cops for Kids, a subsidiary of the State Police Alliance. For more information about our sponsor, visit www.indianasfinest.com. And uh, we want to thank our partners at Network Indiana and MS Communications for allowing us to use the facility. A uh, good friend of the show, Sam Fritz, is behind the button control back there, putting us on the radio across the great state of Indiana. We sure appreciate that. And if you're watching us on the YouTube channel, it's all because our amazing photographer, mm-hmm. Tom Trial. Uh, lots of cool stuff on the YouTube channel. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And and uh, our guest today, uh, Captain Ron Galavis, Chief Chief PIO for the State Police. Welcome, Captain. John, how are you? Hey, I'm well. So Good. here we are. Um, we've had this big recruiting push for the last five, six months. Right. And we're coming up on the end of it. Mm-hmm. Right here at the end of April, application deadline closes. Mm-hmm. And uh, the the process to start the next academy class um, will will end on july 1st or around the first of july when the class starts Mm -hmm. yep so uh as as you as you alluded to the the deadline is april 27th at 11 59 p.m eastern time so if you or somebody that you know has any interest any interest in being an indiana state trooper and being uh subjected to all the things that we have to offer that now's the time the last two weeks because our selection process is is very in-depth but it's been streamlined for maximum efficiency. So, again, if if you're considering it, please give us give us a chance. Yeah, you know, for me, actually, today marks my 20th anniversary with Indiana State Police. Is that right? Yeah. Congratulations. Thank Good you. for you. And and I can tell you, looking back, one, it doesn't feel like 20. And every every trooper, every police officer I know will tell you the same thing. It mm-hmm. goes by so fast. But um, what a rewarding career it's been. And if you're at that point in your life where you're not real sure what you want to do, maybe you're in a job that, that you don't love every single day, um, or you're coming out of high school, college, uh, military, and you're just curious, give us a try. Sure. Look into it. One thing that, that is available now that wasn't available to you and I is, is a ride along with a trooper. Mm-hmm. If you just want to come out because you're thinking about being a police officer, uh, go on indianatrooper.com. You can sign up for a ride along. Yep. Uh, come out and just see what it's all about. And, and most of the people that come out and do a ride along, I feel like they afterwards that's an eye opening experience. They they didn't expect what ISP does on a day to day basis. Right, and it depends too on where in the state you happen to be. Because if you're here in the in the metropolitan Indianapolis area, things are going to be a lot different on, on a ride along than they would be, um, you know, down in maybe say in the Jasper district where it's a little bit more rural. Yeah. Um, the the things that we do are the same, but how we're we're looked upon and asked to assist other agencies is a bit different yeah and the pace is is a little bit different as well you know in our in our busier areas like lowell indianapolis you know uh sellersburg Mm -hmm. it's fast-paced right a lot of a lot of fast-paced work whereas if you're working one of the more rural districts you may grab an investigation that's going to take you several Mm -hmm. days and so um, the cool thing about our, our agency is you have that option right. throughout your entire career. You can choose whether you want to work in a fast-paced metropolitan area mm-hmm. or if you want to work in a rural area and, and just different types of police work, same agency. Right, and, and th- that need is all over the state in all 92 counties. So, you know, I've, you know, and just like you, we've known troopers that started on the road, maybe went to the investigation route, the CSI, became a crime scene investigator, and eventually went into command utilizing the experiences that they garnered. So we've had, uh, you know, in my experience, you know, we've had people come to the state police right out of college, like you mentioned, the military, uh, teachers, business people. Uh, there, there's an engineer, you know, we have a number of engineers, CPAs. Uh, so we, while you think, what, what does engineering have to do with law enforcement? Maybe nothing. Yeah. But again, but the point of all that is you don't have to, to feel pigeonholed that I have to have a certain degree to be a police officer. We're opening our, we, we've we always opened our process to everybody, yeah. everybody that thinks that they fit the bill. And we would love to give them an opportunity to compete. The vast majority of our troopers uh, don't come to us with a background in criminology, criminal justice, right. law enforcement. We have a, a, a variety of backgrounds mm-hmm. that, that people come from. And, and what's unique about the Indiana State Police and any law enforcement job really is it's something different, not just every day, but almost every hour. Right. You're experiencing something different, something new. Um, and and so, you know, for, for me, I, I like to stay busy. I yeah. like to do that. And yeah. and so it, it was a good fit for me. And, and um, it's just a really, really 
rewarding and unique career. You know, you started in a different place than I did. I started off in a in a in a busy district in Fort Wayne, but I was in a very rural area, which was ideal because I had an opportunity to, you know, meet people every day on, on traffic stops and do those things that people commonly associate the state police with. But I also had the opportunity to really jump into some really in-depth investigations that kind of hone those interview skills, investigatory skills, and really report writing. All those things which are so uh, uh, so much you need in this profession, but it's nothing that you need to have jumping into the academy setting because we will set a baseline training of that yeah. and give you that opportunity if 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 so you de- if if you should desire once you get out onto the road. When you mentioned pulling people over and writing tickets, and and one of the misconceptions that's often out there is that the Indiana State Police is a highway patrol, right. and that our primary focus is highways. And and although highways are a very very important part of what we do, it's only a small piece mm-hmm. because we're a full service police agency with every aspect of law enforcement and investigations that are right. almost out there, almost yep. everyone. Yep, and you're talking about anniversaries too. This is the 90th anniversary of the Indiana State Police. We're formed in 1933, so in those 90 years, we have we have either uh, kind of set the bar with certain things, certain uh, inventions, if you will, that we still use today, yeah. or we're we're trying to keep up technologically. So right now, the equipment that we have, just in our vehicles alone, for our for our troopers to utilize, 20 or 29 years ago when I came on, 20 when you came on never would have fathomed that we would be where we're at today or that our society technologically would be where we're at. So it's a, it's the same job, it's the same profession, but so many different interesting well, facets. It's funny, it. you think about the evolution of it, and that's what's funny is 20 years ago, um, I was the first academy class that got a laptop in the academy. Oh, wow. And so uh, to utilize a laptop mm-hmm. or a computer at all sure, uh, and to have that, in our cars when we got i mean that's how far we've come now uh it would be almost impossible to do our job without access Mm -hmm. to a computer i mean possible to to respond to emergencies things like that i'm not saying that but um a a lot of what we do uh requires technology absolutely i mean even just writing a ticket or a warning or investigating a crash on the side of the road is incrementally faster than it was 29 years ago yeah because again handwriting it all garnering all that information so uh, I used to go through a lot more ink pens than oh, I Oh, yeah, so did I. Yeah. <laughs> I, I you know, found how many ink pens under, under your front seat. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but nonetheless, you know, it's a fantastic career opportunity, fantastic opportunities for advancement, both laterally and upward. Um, so if you're looking for a challenge, and this is a challenge, it's not, it's... Quite honestly, it's not for everybody. Well, let's let's dig into that a little bit about the, the opportunity because... Um, we all are under the same umbrella. Mm-hmm. You, everybody within the Indiana State Police that's that's a sworn police officer starts as an Indiana State Trooper. That's right. But oftentimes we get folks that come to us that say, I want to be a homicide detective. I want to be a child crimes detective. I want to be a, a pilot. I want to do this. We have all of those opportunities. Mm-hmm. And oftentimes we can get people there pretty quickly. Sure. Yep. Uh, you know, CSI is another, another one. So on the investigation track, those are usually... I don't want to say easy to get, but they're they're the opportunities are there. There's some others that are a little bit more challenging to get, like being a pilot. Yeah. But once those opportunities open up, I mean those those are those are some pretty impressive <laughs> that's an impressive job. Yeah. And so again, the multitude of things that we're we're asked to do and that we're able to provide smaller communities, it, it's unbelievable. Our canine program. Our canine program when it started you know where are we at now with that probably the last 15 to 20 yeah, years really evolved i mean it has really evolved and i gotta believe we're one, gotta be one of the, the the top programs in the state yeah and yeah. our folks are fantastic yeah. and their dogs are great but you know specialty teams obviously are the most popular ones but again we have white collar crime uh-huh. you know cyber crimes crimes against children yep. uh, so we have three full-time swat teams we oh, have yeah. scuba divers that uh, that operate almost on a full-time basis mm-hmm. um you know we have we have Three, really three helicopters and an air fixed wing aircraft yeah, yeah and so the list goes on and on so if you have a, an interest in law enforcement that's what makes the indiana state police unique is the opportunities that we have under that same umbrella right. of being an indiana state trooper you know and if you like uh you know on, kind of on the fun side if you like college football college basketball you like auto racing yeah i mean the state police has something for you in that realm i mean probably i don't i don't 75 80 percent of us have worked in some facet at the Indy 500 yeah. 
at the uh, the old Brickyard 400, the National Drags, the the Moto Moto GP, and all those type of races. And those things are awesome. That's unreal. If you've never been to one, if you've been to one in the stands, it is a completely different experience than being behind the scenes and walking through the garage and the pits. Absolutely, and, yeah, or, or or in the control tower when you used to be able to go up there, really, and it's just really cool. unbelievable. So so yeah. So if you're thinking about a career, and and one, another thing too is we're not only looking for the people starting their adult lives. Mm-hmm. You may be. 35, 36, up to 39 years old and still apply to be an Indiana State Trooper. And so maybe you've been in a career or you've been in the military, maybe you've retired from the military mm-hmm. and you're right now in that window where you're under 40, uh, we'll still take you for yep, the Indiana State Absolutely. Police. Also, if you're a current police officer yes. or know a current police officer that may, might be looking for, for a change yep. um, for, for whatever reason, uh, we are taking applications for a lateral academy that's still going to be embedded with the traditional, but there there's some slight variations. It'll be shorter that, for sure. Yeah. Um, but again, we're we're looking for for those men and women with experience as well. So something for everybody, something yeah. for everybody. So again, two weeks from today, uh, uh, April 27th is is our deadline yeah. at 11:59 and, p.m. And none of us got into this profession thinking we were going to get rich or make a ton of money. But I, I can I can speak. Uh, Right now, currently in the legislative, is is a significant uh, adjustment in, mm-hmm. in our pay scale. Right. That's going to start troopers at, at seventy thousand dollars, and that's a proposal. Mm-hmm. Um, but that that's a significant increase from where we're starting now. And so, uh, if you're interested in a career with the Indiana State Police, I would inquire to reach out to to a recruiter. Um, go to IndianaTrooper.com. A lot mm-hmm. of the information about our process is on there, yep, and that's absolutely. where you can apply. Also, um, but so, you know, we just talk about all the opportunities that we have with an ISP, but um, we also have troopers that, that just love being in their community, mm-hmm. serving the community, coaching the Little League Baseball, Absolutely. coaching the, the basketball, immersing themselves into a community, and they choose to patrol the road for 35 or 40 years, and, and that's that's great. Yep, and, and, and the rewards are you as unique as, as the opportunities. So you're right. I, we've I knew in fact a trooper that I I knew from Fort Wayne just retired with 39 years, yeah. and he was a road trooper for the entirety of his career, and that's what he loved doing. You know, others are off the road within five years because they want to be a detective or they want to go into a specialty team. So again, uh, whatever is going to bring you the most fulfillment and reward in this career uh, is as unique as as the individual. Yeah, and so sometimes people say, "Well, I don't want to have to move." Well, I I can tell you this: when you apply, you have to essentially sign something that says you're willing to live anywhere in the state of Indiana. Mm-hmm. Um, but there should be a huge asterisk right next to that. Yeah. One is. Um, this, our administration, Superintendent Carter, has been really, really um, good and, and the, intentional about sending people back to where they live if, if possible, mm-hmm. if they have a family, if they own a home, sure. um, going back to their home district. But everybody within a couple of years has an opportunity to transfer to wherever they want to go. And they're not going to move you. This isn't, you know, you're not going to be 10 years into your career and they're going to come yeah. to you and say, oh, we need you in Evansville now. Yep. That doesn't happen. Nope. So some people read that willing to live anywhere in Indiana a little bit differently than what it really means. Right. And uh, and again, you know, we're, we're, we're like every other police agency in the nation right now. We're, we're short troopers. And so the opportunity for you to go back to your district, while there's no guarantees, yeah. it, it's it's Everybody a very, very good possibility. So even, even if you don't get your first wish at, out of recruit school, it's a year, your probationary year. Get through your probationary year. That's really when the door is open, and you can put in for intra-district transfer. Or I'm sorry, yep. inter-district transfer. Yep. So if you got sent to Fort Wayne, want to come back to Indianapolis, you can put in for that transfer. Yeah, and I know we've done several shows on this topic, and we thank you for staying tuned with us here mm-hmm. because maybe you know somebody that would be a great Indiana State Trooper. Maybe they're already a police officer. Uh, maybe they're coming out of college, military. Um, you have to be 21 years old to apply. Um, and, and there's a, a hiring process, yes. uh, but it starts with an application and to apply, you go to www.indianatrooper.com. Uh, you, you submit your application. We'll be in contact with you then right. and, and let you know the next step. We're already into the process. Mm-hmm. We already have people going through background checks and testing yes. and physical agility. So, uh, but you're not too late. You're not too late. Nope. So again, if, if you feel a, a career in law enforcement is for you, we have an opportunity for you. One yeah. badge, endless opportunities. And if you're not sure, just give us a call. Yeah, anyway. absolutely. Yeah. So thank you all for tuning in to the Indiana State Police Roadshow, uh, brought to you by the Indiana State Police Alliance and Cops for Kids. Again, to, to find out more about our hiring process or to submit that pre-application, go to www.indianas.com. 
indianatrooper.com. Let me give that to you again, www.indianatrooper.com. You can contact a recruiter or any of us through that page uh, if you have any questions. Everybody buckle up, be safe, and take care.